is Kelsey and Kendra. So today we're going to be filming a makeup and beauty haul for you guys. We got some stuff from Nordstrom, Macy's, and Ulta, and we did shop through Ebates for this haul. And if you guys haven't heard of Ebates, it's the best thing for online shoppers. And the best part about Ebates, you can get cash back when you shop. It's really rare that you make money back when you shop, so it's like a win-win, like to shop and to make money. It's like the best thing. So you can get cash back based on the amount of money that you spend on the store that you choose to shop at. And right now they're actually having double cash back on over 500 stores for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So this is the perfect time for you guys to go shop if you want to get gifts for people for the holidays or if you just want to shop for yourself. So yeah, if you guys haven't signed up for eBay, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to do that because it's super convenient and they have so many different stores. Like, you will be shocked at all the stores they have on there. Like, obviously the stores that we shopped at were Nordstrom, Macy's, and Ulta. They also have Sephora, they have Nike, they have Bloomingdale's, they have so many different stores. They have Amazon. Like, I was shocked when I saw Amazon. So you guys are gonna find at least one store that you wanna shop at and get that cash back. So yeah, with all that being said, we're just gonna jump right into the haul. Okay, so first we're just gonna start out with Nordstrom. Okay, so the first thing that I got is a serum and this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum. And this is my third time purchasing this serum. I've been using this for a little over a year now and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I always get questions like on Instagram, like what serum do you use? Cause I do get a lot of compliments on like the texture of my skin because I don't really have a lot of texture and I really think it's from exfoliating in this serum. It's amazing. This is the biggest size so this is actually my first time buying the biggest size because the first time I bought this I bought the smallest then I bought the medium size and then this time I got the biggest and the medium size the one that I have now that's almost gone is like 1.3 ounces I think somewhere around that and this one is huge obviously and oh this gosh. is 3.38 fluid ounces so this is going to last me a long long time because the one that I have now has lasted me for about six months so I cannot imagine how long this one is going to last me it's super duper heavy and it's amazing it is a bit pricey but I cannot put a price on my skin especially a serum serum is just good for like texture if you have like a lot of texture on your face like little bitty bumps or something like that pores, pores and anti-aging anti which is very very important especially since you know we just turned 24 yeah so I'm getting a little bit more anal about anti-aging and stuff like that so I want to keep my skin looking nice and fresh and young okay so the first thing that I got from Nordstrom is a foundation and this is from Chanel and I have never bought like a super super high-end foundation I guess to me, there's high for makeup. There's high end and there's super high end, like Chanel, Giorgio Armani, Burberry, like all those brands. And I heard so many good things about this foundation, but I thought this was discontinued at one point. But then when I saw it online, I'm like, wait, they do still have it. This is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. I think that's how you say it. Long wear, flawless, fluid sunscreen makeup. So this has an SPF of 15, and I got the color 114 Amber. I think that's how you say it. And I did read a lot of reviews on it. It has really, really good reviews. And I did watch some demos on YouTube as well just to see how it applied and all that kind of thing. I did my research, y'all, before I bought this. This foundation is not cheap. Obviously, it's from Chanel. And it's the first, like, Chanel makeup item that I have. But I was super excited to try it because I heard this is really good for oily skin. So I'm really excited to try this. And the color that is showing up, like, in the... The container obviously looks lighter, but when you put it on your hand, it's darker. The only thing that I don't like about this foundation is the color range. Just because they don't have a whole lot, this is the darkest shade that it comes in. So I just wish they had like a lot more colors, like as far as like the darker shades. But this has a pump, which is super convenient, but it better have a pump because it ain't cheap. So it needs to have a pump for the price, but I'm really excited to try this because... Everybody's been talking about like a lot of the other high-end foundations that I don't feel like would be good for oily skin because so many people talk about the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I have oily skin and I don't think that would like work for me. So if you have oily skin, this might be a really good buy for you if you're looking for a really high-end foundation, especially since the holidays are coming up and you can get your cash back for eBay. It's like you might as well, you know, splurge. Splurge. So yes, got this foundation. And the next thing that we both got from Nordstrom's is this Kiehl's Creme de Corpse lotion body lotion it's just an all-over body moisturizer 
And we heard about this from Makeup by Shayla, uh -huh. Makeup Shayla, and she talked about it on Snapchat. And I yes. was like, I have to try that lotion because she raved about she it. She said it was really, really good, and her mm -hmm. skin is like always glowing. So I was just like, I need to give me some of that. And we normally buy our lotions obviously from like Target, like the Nivea mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But since you know you're saving money, might as well get like the things you normally wouldn't buy. Yeah. And I've never tried anything from Kiehl's before, so yeah. I'm really excited for this lotion. And the reviews are really good also. Mm -hmm. And Kiehl's is supposed to be like a really good like natural brand and they're mm -hmm. supposed to have like a really good ingredients and yeah. their products are not tested on animals. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to use it when I get out of the shower tonight. Yeah. And the last thing that I got from Kiehl's is this Micro Blur Skin Perfector. This is supposed to be like it says a skin perfector but a lot of people use it as a primer before they apply their makeup. And I read, obviously, a lot of your reviews on this as well. But um, a girl, I think her name is Carly Humbert here on YouTube. That's the first time I ever heard anybody talk about this because she had a video on, like, primers or something, like the best primers. And she mentioned this. And she raved about it so much to the point where I was like, I need to add it to my wish list for, like, whenever I get around to buying it. And I finally got it. And it says it's supposed to be a lightweight skin smoother to instantly refine skin texture and minimize the appearance of pores while improving skin's quality over time. So this is supposed to be really good for like long-term use. So if you've tried this before, let me know how you like it because I'm really excited to try this as a primer for before makeup. So yeah. And the very last thing that I wanted to get from Nordstrom is a highly raved about brush. This is from NARS and this is the Eda Kabuki brush. And a lot of people use this for contouring. When this first came out, like it was so much hype around this brush and everybody and their mama was talking about it, but I wasn't contouring then, so I didn't really care to buy it. But since I contour now and I got like some really good contouring products that I love, I wanted to get a brush to use with them. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it like a bunch of times. It's actually softer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like more prickly feeling <laughs> just because like when I looked at the hairs, it looked like it wouldn't be super soft, but it actually is. And I also did see some mixed reviews on it. Like some people said they loved it. Some people said they didn't, but I just wanted to try it out for myself. So I finally bought it and I'm actually really excited to try this. And this is not cheap either. So if you want to invest in a contour brush, make sure you really want this because it's not cheap. Okay, so that's it for Nordstrom. Now we're going to move on to Macy's. So from Macy's, we mostly just got a bunch of Anastasia Beverly Hills products because you can shop on her actual website. But if you can get cash back, I recommend going through Macy's. Macy's. So that's a really good tip I want to give you guys. So and more of her stuff is sold on Macy's. Yeah. Um, like, like you can't get all of her stuff at Sephora. Like she only has her brow products in mm -hmm. Sephora. And Ulta. And Ulta. So you can get more things at Macy's. Like from her eyeshadows. Her liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. Mm -hmm. She has like a lot of her contour products on there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other brushes as well. Yeah, so Macy's is the way to go other than her actual website. So we each got four eyeshadows and you get this free quad little palette thingy. I think they're originally $12 per eyeshadow mm -hmm. and then if you get the palette you pay $10 for each eyeshadow. Per eyeshadow. So that's mm -hmm. $40 for four eyeshadows and then you get this for free. I think mm -hmm. it's a really good deal. Yeah, this is like perfect for travel. Yes, this is going to be like my travel palette. Mm -hmm. You can just get your four favorite eyeshadows from Anastasia and just take those on the go with you. The first color I got is Glisten and this is my favorite color from Anastasia. You guys know that I'm obsessed with this color and I always use it in the Amrezy palette and every time I wear you guys ask me and since that palette is discontinued, you guys can get these individually. So this color is amazing, one of my faves. And then I got Burnt Orange. This is a really nice transition color. It reminds me of Caramel from the Amrezy palette, but they don't have Caramel. So I thought that this would be like the perfect like dupe for it. And I think it probably is Caramel. They just, she just named it something different. So I got Burnt Orange. And then I got Beauty Mark, which is just a really pretty like deep, almost burgundy plum color and like a brown mixed together yeah, all three mixed together so it's like the perfect crease color to like deepen up the eye look so it's really really pretty and then i got soft peach just because i feel like this will be a nice lid color for a matte look or a really good brow bone color so i just got like basic colors that i can like take with me on the go like kendra said that you can have like when you just want to use this palette so make sure you get like a transition color a good lid color and like a, a color to deepen the crease and like a brow bone color because like this is like perfect for travel and i got some of the same colors that kelsey got i got burnt orange beauty mark which is like my personal favorite because it has like that purple undertone in it so pretty if you don't like black eyeshadows like at all this is the next best thing because it's not 
black but it's still dark enough to give you like some drama to your eye look and i got cream which is just exactly what it says a cream color it's kind of got an orange undertone to it yeah yeah it, it has like a creamy orange undertone which is why it's called cream and then i also got glisten because it's my, one of my favorite lid colors as well next to grandstand for makeup geek because that's like my all-time favorite lid color because it's just bomb but glisten is also really really nice it goes so pretty on like multiple skin tones so yes glisten is bomb and then we both got um lip glosses i got two and then kendra got one we both got bordeaux, bordeaux. i think that's how you say it. it ends with an x but i think it's silent yeah i'm pretty sure it is when i looked at all her lip glosses oh, a lot of them look like too light for my liking like what mm -hmm. i would like for my skin tone but when i saw this one it's like nothing that i own mm -hmm. it's like a gorgeous like deep cranberry shade with like a hint of brown in it it was mauve and warm at the same time yes. to me it looks lighter in the tube here mm -hmm. to me but when you swatch it on your hand it's like the most gorgeous cranberry oh, shade so pretty and i think it's going to be pretty with multiple lip colors like if you want to do like a peachy nude underneath and then darken up like your gloss like on top it'll create the perfect color it's just so so pretty i'm obsessed with this and these are also pigmented enough to like wear on its own they're so so pigmented mm -hmm. so they're not sheer yeah they're amazing like look at that that doesn't even look like a gloss it's no, it so, doesn't. so pretty. Yeah, super pigmented. And then the other color that I got is Gilded. And this is the like gold looking like lip gloss. But I want to use this as a topper for when I wear like a nude lip or something like that. If I want the lip to look more glowy. It's kind of like a highlighter for your lips, I guess you can say. It looks like a gold liquid eyeshadow or something yeah, like that like a base yeah but it's for your lips so it's really nice to like put in the center if you want like to bring all the attention to the center of your lips and to make them look fuller as well so that's why i got this and i've heard so many great things so i cannot wait to try this and the last thing that we both got is like their super popular product which is the brow is we both got ebony and i just thought that this would be like a good color for me they have so many different shades like colors mm -hmm. for her brow pencil so yeah. she has like literally a brow color for everybody yeah a lot to choose from and it's so skinny and i'm just obsessed with like really skinny brow pencils y'all know pencils are my thing for my yeah. brows i'm trying to get more into pencils the only time i usually use a pencil is when i'm in a rush, rush because i'm more of a powder kind of girl but I did get any of her powders yet just because I want to see how I like the pencil first. And moving on to MAC, I wanted to mention to you guys, if you don't have a pro card or anything like that, so you can't get like money off when you go on the MAC website, Macy's does sell MAC products. So it's really smart to go on there, especially to go through Ebates and get the cash back. So it just makes more sense to shop on there if you can't get like any money off so might as well like get money back to shop through macy's on ebay mm -hmm. macy's has like almost everything yeah they have a lot of products yes i was surprised that like i was like wait yeah they do have mac so the first thing that we both got is a mac lip conditioner hydrant mm -hmm. and i've been wanting to try this for a while now yeah, i just too. like overlooked it every time i go in and forget to get it but it's just like a lip conditioner. Okay, two yeah, lips. it's good to put on before you do like a matte lip or something like that. Yes. Or even like a no makeup day, like during the day, you just want to keep your lips hydrated. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to try this. And I love like little tubes like this for like lip hydrating products because I just like these little curved things because they fit like perfectly on your lips and it's sanitary. Yeah, love this packaging and I'm really super excited to try it. And they smell amazing. It they smell, smell like the, the lipsticks. lipsticks. Yeah. yeah, like the vanilla. Mm hmm like cake batter smell but it's like really light so yeah both got one of those and then i got another chestnut lip pencil I got one. because uh the one i got now is getting very short and i use the crap out of it all the time so i had to get a backup so y'all know how we feel about chestnut lip pencil and then i got a blush that kind of caught my eye and this is in peach twist peachy blushes are like my favorite blushes ever yeah, i just pretty. feel like they look so well on like my skin tone and like the natural look, yeah really natural but still warm at the same time so i just really like how they look this is like slightly shimmery mm -hmm. so this is like a glowy yeah it's not a matte blush so i like it because like you said it will give my cheeks a little bit of a glow oh yeah it's gonna be pretty mm -hmm. so love 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 this blush already and i haven't even used it like oh i just cannot wait to wear it it's gorgeous and i feel like this is a universal color i feel like you can wear it all year round as mm -hmm. well because this is going to be pretty during the summer mm -hmm. so the last thing that i got from macy's is this give me brow by benefit and i heard my friend chelsea talk about this and she said it was really good for like those like no makeup days or days like you're in a rush or something like to like put over your brows so I just wanted to see how I like this because like some days I don't feel like filling in my brows just because it's 
very time consuming and I take a long time on my brows like a very long time especially when they need to be done like now but I just wanted to give this a try see how I like it it's so teeny tiny so hopefully I like it because it just adds a little bit a little bit of color to your brows um, if you don't feel like um, doing them I think you can put this over your brows to set them I'm not sure but I'm gonna use it like on those no makeup days or no makeup makeup look days when I don't feel like filling them in so Super excited to try this Give Me Brow. So that's all we got from Macy's. And last but not least, we're going to move on to Ulta. Okay, so the first thing that I got is something that I repurchased twice already. This is my third bottle of this. And this is the Murad Complete Reform with Glyco Firming Complex. This is just like a serum for your skin. So this is what you apply after toner. This is like the first like anti-aging product you apply when you apply like all your products. This is from the Age Reform line. From Murad and I heard so many good things about this when I first tried it and I've been liking it ever since so this is why I've purchased it a third time. Oh I bought my serum a third time too. Yeah and I've been trying to stay consistent like with the skincare products I'm using as far as like serums and like things like this. Yeah because you like to switch yours out a lot so you must really really like this. Yes I switch up my skincare products more often than Kelsey's just because my skin isn't like as sensitive as hers. That means this is really good if I purchase this a third time so I really do like this. Obviously you guys know you can get Murad at Ulta or Sephora so I got this one from Ulta and oh. it has like really good benefits. It's good for texture and then I read reviews some people said it helped their dark spots which I think is also helping mine too like fade. They're not completely gone but I can tell that they're fading. So, because that's like one of the things I hate about my skin. When it always leaves a dark spot. So, that's the only thing that is really stubborn when it comes to my skin are my dark spots. Mine too. Really so, bad hyperpigmentation. Yes. Just in only around like my chin, chin area. area. Like everywhere else I don't really get dark spots. Which I'm still grateful for. But I just wish it was all it would all go away. But this has helped. So, I'm going to keep using this. And like I said, I'm just really obsessed with this serum. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Ulta is this Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. And I have been wanting to try this for a while now. And I've never used like any of Lorac's face products. I usually just use like their eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. So I wanted to give this primer a try. And it's really big packaging. So I was mm -hmm. like, this primer will last me a long time. And of course, the main reason I wanted to get it was because it's for pores and it's mattifying so when those two things are combined I'm like I need that in my life because right now I use two different primers usually when I want to do my makeup like I'll do my mattifying one like in the pore center and yeah and then I'll do my pore one like here so it's it gets kind of inconvenient sometimes so I want to see how this one works so hopefully it can become my new holy grail so I can have a two-in-one so yeah, once again, this is the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. And it is oil-free, paraben-free, and fragrance-free. So that's really good as well. Okay, so the second and last skincare product I got is from Peter Thomas Roth. And this is a toner. This is the Unwrinkled Turbo Lime Smoothing Toning Lotion. And it says lotion, but um, a lot of toners, people call their toners lotions. Mm -hmm. So this says toning lotion. And I read a lot of good reviews on this. And... I really been wanting to try a toner for anti-aging because all the toners I've ever used are for like acne prone skin and like oily skin and they're always mostly drugstore. I like the Neutrogena one so I've been using that one for years and I kind of wanted to switch it up so I'll just like put the Neutrogena ones to the side for summertime because I feel like they're kind of like drying out my skin since it's getting like colder outside like into the colder months I feel like my skin does get dry in some areas and I feel like this will really help and like I said I wanted to try an anti-aging toner so I'm really excited to try this this wasn't super expensive but it wasn't super cheap either I forgot the price but um I've seen more expensive skincare products so this is what it looks like it's like a really pretty pearlized look to it so yeah I'm just really excited to use this and it's a really good size like this is a lot of toner yeah. so Cause if it was like super small because sometimes when you look at stuff online and then you get it like in your hand you're like what is this <laughs> but this is actually a really really good size this is 6.7 fluid ounces so that's a lot of toner okay so the next thing i got from ulta is this laura geller baked gelato swirl illuminator and gilded honey and i have been eyeing this for the longest time and i'm so glad i finally got my hands on it it's so pretty and like y'all know i'm like pretty. obsessed with highlighters like it's like my favorite thing to put on my face because i do have high cheekbones and i feel like it just you know accentuates them so and if you don't have high cheekbones highlighters help with that as well too so i'm just slowly building up my highlighter collection but i want to go ahead and get this one the only thing i don't like about this highlighter is just i wish that it was bigger i feel like it's really really small and i use yeah. a lot of highlighter like some days i like have to take some off because i use so much but 
Um, I'll see how thick it is because sometimes it's like really thin because you hit pan quicker than you think. So we'll see. So maybe it's thicker than I think since it is so small. So super excited that I got it. So I cannot wait to start wearing this. So the last thing that we both got from Ulta is a perfume. And Kelsey already owns this perfume and I've been wanting to get my hands on it for a while. But I have just been wanting to get other perfumes. And I always forget about this one because Kelsey has it. And I really don't like to buy the same perfume with Kelsey because we tend to like... We like, have a few that's alike. Yeah, we have like at least three that are the same. Our other ones yeah. are different. But this is too good to pass up. This is the... Okay, I can't pronounce that. But this is the Angels and Demons Le Secret Perfume from Givenchy. I can say that. This is my signature scent. Yes, if you want to know what Kelsey smells like, smell this. <laughs> well, what I smell like most of the time. Yeah. So I got another one because the one that I have now is like literally this much left. And I've had that one for almost two years, so it's lasted me a long, long time. time. So if the small one lasted me that long, this one could last even and longer. And I use it a lot. But this is just so unique. Bum. It's like fruity and floral, and but it's not too floral because I don't like just straight up floral perfumes. Mm -hmm. I don't like smelling like a bouquet. <laughs> but this has like a lot of fruity like notes to it. It's just so good, you guys. So if you haven't took a whiff of this, Please go smell it um, if ever you come across it. It's just bomb. Like, even if you just want to go online right now and buy it, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. You're going to like it anyway. Mm -hmm. It has a very sexy scent. Mm -hmm. And so it's this a very is not, distinct smell. Yes, People it doesn't compliment smell like your scent. anything else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell like anything else I've ever smelled. Yes. And, like, yeah, I do get compliments every time I wear this. Mm -hmm. And this is not a cute smell. Kind of like you smell like, you know, sugar or Fresh. candy. No. This is sexy. But it's not like... Too, like too mature it's just like, like old lady yeah <laughs> it don't smell nothing like an old it's lady it's just the perfect scent like yes. it could be your go-to scent so yes. this is really 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 good mm -hmm. so that completes this makeup slash beauty haul we hope you guys found a lot of things that you might want to try so if you guys are interested in any of the products please shop through ebay it's because it's just like the best thing ever and the holidays are coming up so it's just like the perfect excuse to shop for other people and yourself and who doesn't want to get cash back so i highly recommend that you sign up for ebay so we're going to leave the link down below for you guys to check out so yeah we hope you guys enjoyed this haul and we'll see y'all in our next video